Hello everyone, my name is Martin Wren, and I am the Product Manager of the Georgia Tech RoboNav Robotics Team in Atlanta, Georgia. The RoboNav team is composed of approximately 60 members split across mechanical, electrical, software, science, and drone subteams. This past year, we have been working hard on redeveloping the team's 2024 rover and drone, Wally and Eve, for the University Rover Challenge. We can't wait to show everyone the improvements that we have made. The rover has four different configurations that can be easily swapped for each mission. Delivery, Equipment Servicing, Autonomous, and Science. This year, we enhanced the modularity and reliability of the rover's electrical system, which consists of three subsystems. The main box, arm, and science with aviation connectors for secure and efficient inter-system communication. Our drivetrain is powered by four brushless DC motors, providing high torque to overcome obstacles. New motor controller modules feature a better interface, allowing for easier access and configuration. Old protoboard modules have been replaced with custom PCBs, and the relative encoders on the arm have been replaced with absolute magnetic encoders, enabling precise closed-loop control. In addition, to better utilize the limited bandwidth with 2.4 GHz radio, we used analog video cameras to have multiple viewing angles while maintaining efficient bandwidth usage. The rover is composed of three main mechanical subsystems, the drivetrain, arm, and science assembly. Wally's drivetrain consists of a modular carbon fiber chassis and a new four-wheel rocker suspension system with a rear-mounted differential bar. This year's design features more robust joints and two fewer wheels than the previous drivetrain, which reduces the rover weight while maintaining maneuverability across sandy terrain, rough border fields, and slopes of over 30 degrees. Mounted on the front of the chassis is a fully redesigned 5 degree of freedom rover arm that is used in both the delivery and equipment servicing missions. The new arm, which is 15% lighter than the previous iteration, features carbon fiber segments and belt driven joints, including a differential wrist. At the arm's shorter joint is a new custom two-stage cycloidal gearbox that offers a 180 to 1 reduction with minimal backlash. An under-actuated worm drive gripper has been developed as the arm's new coarse end effector. This allows Wally to grasp a wide variety of irregular objects of up to 5 kilograms. Our experience in Utah highlighted some significant challenges of operating in a harsh desert environment. We've since focused on making our drone design far more robust, beginning with equipping EV with dustproof motors and a three-axis self-stabilizing gimbal system. To address communication and range challenges, we developed Auto, an autonomous tracking antenna, which ensures we have a stable, long-range uplink that is capable of high-volume data transfer. Moreover, Auto can relay data off EV as another way to support rover operations. For the equipment servicing mission, Wally switches to a new fine end effector consisting of a linear gripper with an independently actuated finger. This end effector is used to flip switches, turn knobs, push buttons, type on a keyboard, and insert a USB stick. The software team has upgraded Wally's autonomous navigation capabilities through a combination of localization, perception, and planning implemented in ROS2. We use real-time kinematic GPS positioning fused with data from IMU and wheel encoder sensors using an extended Kalman filter. This gives us localization accuracy of 2.5 centimeters, a 95% increase from last year. The all-new LiDAR-based perception algorithm constructs a slope-conditioned occupancy grid from dense point clouds to predict difficulty of traversal. A custom implementation of ASTAR allows us to efficiently plan and replan routes. In addition to the LiDAR, we use an Intel RealSense camera to detect Aruco tags and perform computer vision tasks. The web interface has also been overhauled, with new functionality and UI based on operator feedback. It now supports real-time video, maps, the ROS console output, and various statuses from the rover. For this year's science mission, we worked on improving the previous core sampling system by adding capacity for two chemical tests instead of one, and a linearly actuated temperature and humidity probe. Soil samples collected by Wally's metal coring bits, which are strong enough to drill through rock, will be placed in beakers on the turnstile. For the anhedron test, which detects the amino acids in the sample, we made the reaction environment more acidic to lower reaction time. We also added the chlorophyll fluorescence test, which uses DMSO to extract chlorophyll in the sample. The mixture is then exposed to UV light in a redesigned dark chamber and observed for any signs of chlorophyll fluorescence. We are confident that Wally and Eve can take on any challenges the University Rover Challenge throws our way. Go Jackets! <laughs>